Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Grit Icon bag versus the Conway and Banks bag. Both of these bags are hockey shoulder bags, and the idea behind this video is to stack up two of my favourite hockey shoulder bags against each other, showing you some of their key features, the best things about them, to hopefully identify which one of these bags is going to be the best one for you for the upcoming season. So let's break down some of these bags' best features, some of the pros and cons behind each of them, to help you guys figure out which one you might pick up next. Let's go. And before we jump into this video, as always, make sure that you thumbs up and also subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. Now the five things that I look out for in any bag that I'm picking up is going to be the organization, the breathability, storage compartments, the durability and the price. So how do these two bags stack up when you're looking at all of those facts? If the bag has everything included and it stands at a pretty decent price, it's going to be the bag that I go for. Now first up is going to be the Grit Icon bag. One of the first things that you're going to notice about this bag is the fact that its design is definitely not one of a traditional hockey bag. The colours, the shape, the styling of it definitely doesn't look like a traditional bag, which I'm a big fan of. It's always nice when a company's willing to take a little bit of a risk and go for something that looks a little bit more unusual, a little bit, I guess you could say, more eye-catching than what we're typically used to seeing at hockey stores. So that's definitely going to be a bonus. Now, Grit as a company are definitely known for their bags, and I've never shied away from the fact that I've referred to them in the past as the kings of making hockey bags. They have a massive, massive catalogue of different bags that they create for different types of hockey players, whether it be wheeled, carried, tower bags. They know what they're doing when it comes to making a bag, and the Grit Icon bag definitely demonstrates that. Now, when we look inside the bag, the first thing that you're going to notice is that bright green reflective base. So like well-designed bags, it just means that looking for anything in a low-lit locker room is very easy. Because of that green reflective base, you can see anything in the corner of the bags, even if you're somewhere that doesn't have much light. Aside from that, it's going to be the storage sections this bag has. Now, unlike a lot of the other storage bags that we've seen, this bag only has two storage sections. Now, that also includes two additional pockets on the sides of the bags for you to be able to put your skates in. But in terms of the actual storage compartments inside the bag, which I've got to add are all removable, it's just two sections. One for the larger pieces of your equipment, like your hockey pants, maybe your shoulder pads, and the other one for the smaller pieces of your hockey equipment. Now, when we look at the two pockets on the sides of the bag for your skates, both of these have reinforced carpeting on the base of them, so even if you put your skates into the bag without any protectors on the blades, you don't have to worry about your blades being dulled, you don't have to worry about the blades cutting into the base of the bag, which is definitely something that I've experienced with other hockey bags that have tried to adopt this same style and design. Grit have been very tactical about where they've put mesh pockets and also zip pockets for you to be able to store your valuables. Now this bag, it doesn't look like it does, but it has multiple mesh pockets for you to be able to store lots of different accessories like tape, scissors, anything that you might need to bring to the rink with you. This bag has definitely got enough storage pockets for you to be able to put everything that you might need. With the one zip pocket that this bag has, that's probably going to be the place that you put your valuables like your phone, wallet, keys. Because of that zip, it means that you don't have to worry about this stuff rolling around in the bottom of the bag, making it difficult for you to find after any games or practices. In addition to all of this, the Great Icon bag also has a removable mesh pouch, which is going to be a great place for you to put any of the wet or dirty things that are going to be inside your bag, just so you can separate them from the rest of your equipment. And in fact, you can throw this mesh bag straight into the wash or you can take the stuff out. It just helps to add a little bit of separation between anything that's wet and dirty from anything else inside your bag that you might not want to get wet and dirty. They also include, which is another feature that their bags are well known for, the removable cooler sleeve, which is great for you to put any drinks that you might have inside your bag, helping them to maintain their temperature. Grits bag also features their traditional removable carpet, which is going to be great for you to be able to set down on any wet locker room floors so you can put your socks on, get changed properly without having to worry about getting your feet wet after you've just dried yourself off and are trying to put on a fresh, dry, clean pair of socks. Looking at the side of Grits Icon bag, it also features a very large cover, or you could maybe refer to it as a sleeve, which can be removed to reveal two massive ventilation ports on the side of the bag. Now the idea behind the sleeve is that it can be something that is simply unzipped and removed after training or games to allow any equipment inside the bag to get air circulating through the bag to help it dry out, to help your equipment last longer. This is definitely something that grip bags are renowned for, the breathability of the bags. So this is a feature that I wish more hockey shoulder bags had, but is one that I've never really seen lacking on any of Grit's bags. The sleeve or cover can also have a team or company logo attached to the side of it, which is again another bonus for a lot of the products that Grit offers. Now when we look at the front flap or the top cover of the bag, it has a zip which leads into a two-way pocket. This two-way pocket can be accessed from both inside the bag when the top cover of the bag is flapped open or even when the bag is completely closed and zipped up. 
This is a great place to put your clean set of clothes or maybe a jersey or a towel, anything that you'd want inside your bag that would be convenient to be able to access whether the bag is open or closed. Now looking at the straps of the Icon bag, this doesn't sound like a big deal, but they're adjustable. A lot of the typical hockey shoulder bags you come across don't have adjustable straps, they're fixed, which means that if you need the straps to be slightly longer just to have a little bit more of a more comfortable carrying position for the bag, or the other way around having them shorter, you're not able to do this, you just have to struggle with what you have. Whereas on the Icon bag, they're adjustable, just offering you that further level of customization to make getting your bag from the car to the arena with as much ease as possible. Looking at the dimensions of the bag based on the way that it's been designed, it's a little bit shorter and a little bit more narrow than traditional hockey shoulder bags, but it does sit a little bit taller. Now touching on the durability of this bag, the construction of it is mainly from a mixture of polyvinyl materials that is very, very thick, very durable, and it also has some elements of polyester along the tops of the bag. So in terms of its durability, I find that this bag is slightly thicker than your traditional polyvinyl bags that you get in hockey, which means that it being a grip bag, we can expect a great durability from it. Now onto the Conway and Banks bag. The first thing that you notice about this bag, well, the first thing I notice at least, is gonna be the design. All black everything, very clean, very sleek, which if you travel a lot or you're having to use public transport a lot or you have to leave your hockey bag anywhere that you don't really like to, like at an airport for check-in, it's an ideal bag because it doesn't really scream hockey. Of course, if you know the Mighty Ducks movies and you know hockey, Conway and Banks will mean something to you, but otherwise, it's a very low-key and slick-looking bag, in my opinion. Now, if you don't know about Conway and Banks bags, they are a fairly new hockey manufacturer, and in my opinion, what they've been able to do is get all of my favorite features about a hockey bag and combine it into one. In terms of this particular bag, they have it in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, depending on the size and the age of the hockey player that needs the bag. Now, when you open up this bag, the first thing you're gonna notice is that very bright yellow reflective base. Again, that's gonna be there so you can see anything at the bottom of this bag in a low-lit locker room, which I'm sure a lot of you have had to deal with previously. From there, it's gonna be the storage dividers inside this bag, which are also removable. There's four of them. One larger storage section for the larger pieces of your hockey equipment, and then three smaller ones for you to be able to put all of the other things that you're gonna have inside your bag. Now looking at the sides of the bag, you're gonna see two very large mesh vents to allow air to constantly circulate through this bag, whether it's open or closed, which is one of the best features about this bag. If you remember the five points I touched on at the beginning of the video, this is definitely a bag that encompasses all of those five points. So if you're the type of player that sometimes can get home and forget to open up their bag or take their equipment out, this is gonna be a great bag for you because whether it's open or closed, air is gonna be able to travel through the structure of the bag, helping your equipment to dry out, helping it to last that little bit longer. And of course, helping to fight that smell that none of us want our equipment to have. The Conway and Banks bag also comes with a removable mesh bag. Again, this is gonna be the perfect place for you to put anything dirty or wet to separate it from your other pieces of equipment or anything else that's inside your bag that you don't want to get dirty and wet. And again, this is a bag that you can literally just throw straight into the washing machine without having to take anything out. So it's quick and convenient if you're trying to separate the things that you've been using, like your underlayers, base layers, or whatever you wanna call them. You can pop them into this mesh bag, rip it out of the bag, and throw it straight into the machine when you get home. Now in terms of storage for your valuables inside this bag, it has one zip pocket or pouch that's gonna be the perfect place for you to be able to put car keys, wallet, phone, those types of things that you don't really want rolling around in the bottom of your bag. Now closing the flap of the bag and looking at the top of it, it also has a two-way opening pocket that can be accessed from both outside the bag and also from inside the bag. So that's gonna be the ideal place to put clean set of clothes, towel, any of the things that you might need to access when the bag's open or closed. Now when we move over to the front side of the bag where the Conway and Banks logo is present, this has a zip that looks like additional storage, which of course, by all means, you can definitely use it for additional storage. But if you unzip all of this entire section of the bag, a foot mat drops out. Now, unlike most bags that have removable foot mats, the Conway and Banks bag's foot mat is attached at the base of the bag. So you can unzip essentially three corners of it and it drops out onto the floor for you to be able to get changed in a wet or damp locker room without you having to worry about your clean and dry socks getting wet while you're trying to get changed. A problem that pretty much all hockey players have. And I really like the fact that Conway and Banks have incorporated this feature to the outside of the bag. Looking at the section inside the foot mat after you've unzipped it, it also has one additional storage mesh pouch there for you to be able to put any other things that you might need like tape, scissors, screwdrivers, any of those typical things that you'll bring to the rink with you that you need for either your sticks or any adjustments you need to make to your helmet. Essentially making sure that you have somewhere to put any of the essentials that you need to bring with you to the rink. 
Now, when we look at the differences between these two bags, starting off with the Conway and Banks, the fact that they offer their hockey shoulder bag in three different sizes, catering for different types of hockey players is definitely a bonus. Their straps are not adjustable like the Grit Icon bag, which is a little bit of a bummer, but the fact that they offer three different sizes is always great. From there, it's gonna be the fact that Grit's removable foot mat for you to be able to get changed after practice in a damp or wet locker room has to be taken out of the bag and then put back inside the bag. If this isn't something that you mind, that's absolutely no problem at all. But I personally definitely prefer the option of having it attached to the outside of the bag and me never having to worry about that foot mat coming back inside the bag. It just minimizes having to have a dirty foot mat coming into contact with the rest of your equipment, which doesn't sound like a big deal to a lot of players, but for me, it definitely is. Now, another big difference between these two bags, in case you didn't pick up on it when I was going through the features, is gonna be the amount of mesh pockets and storage one bag has over the other. The Icon bag from Grit definitely has more mesh pockets, definitely has more internal storage than the Conway and Banks bag. So if you tend to take a lot of accessories with you to the rink, the Icon bag is gonna have a lot more pouches and places for you to be able to put that type of stuff. This also leads us really nicely onto the two sections for you to be able to put your skates in that the Icon bag has. It has those two little sleeves or pockets that your skates go into with the reinforced foot mats or carpets inside so you don't have to worry about your skates coming into contact with anything that they shouldn't do inside the bag. This isn't something that the Conway and Banks bag has traditionally. Although the Conway and Banks bag does have a specific section for your skates, the reinforced foot mat or carpeting isn't something that comes standard to the Conway and Banks bags. Conway and Banks, in addition to having their bags coming in three different sizes, they also allow you to choose between a wheeled version of the Conway and Banks bag or a hockey shoulder carry bag. Now, when we look at the ventilation ports on both of these bags, they both have great ventilation. But with the Icon bag from Grit, you have to remove that sleeve to be able to have the ventilation doing its job. Whereas the Conway and Banks bag has the ventilation ports on the sides as standard and you don't have to do anything. So if you're the type of player that does forget to do anything to their hockey bag after you get back from practice or a game, the Conway and Banks bag is definitely gonna win in that department because the grit one, you'd have to actively remember to remove that front section to allow the bag to breathe. But hopefully this video is gonna help you to be able to identify which one of these two bags has all of the features that is gonna make it the best bag for you to pick up for the upcoming season. It would actually be kinda of cool if you guys comment down below in the comment section letting me know which bag you go for or which bag you would pick out of the two options that we've looked at today. But as always, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you're notified when I post a new video. Keep watching, keep subscribing. Leave your comments down below of which one you'd choose and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and stay safe.